So guys, we're going to have a really good, juicy conversation tonight. I wanted to tell you guys that I see some very attractive white men, but I'm just not attracted to them. All right, guys, so before we get started, I just wanted to let you know that I am winding down for the night. It is 6.05 p.m., and I am getting ready to not go to bed, but just wind down. And I was going to let you do that with me. I'm going to let you do that with me. <laughs> so today in the shower, I did do a mask on my face. So right now I'm just wiping my face down with a uh, warm cloth because I'm not going to I'm not gonna reclaim my face because my face is tender. And so today I did the Fresh Rose Mask by Fresh. Guys, this is really nice. And this mask has made my face look so pretty as far as like the skin texture and stuff. So that's what it looks like it's down at the bottom. It looks pretty gross. And one thing I noticed about Fresh products, they usually have like fresh ingredients in it, like petals and I don't know, just good stuff, herbs. Uh, I don't remember how much it cost, but this is a 3.3 fluid ounce jar. I am not going to use it anymore because I replaced it with my new mask, which is the Ethiopian Honey by The Body Shop. And guys, when I tell you this here has made a difference in my life because it has a horrible smell and they stopped selling it. I just wanted to show you anyway. You guys know I've been getting these molds all over my face. And lately, well, this last year, I've been using it for over a year now. And guys, when I tell you, I didn't have none of them little ugly moles on my face this year. Hardly none. So when I went and got my face, um, when I got those moles removed this year, it was they weren't that bad. My uh, dermatologist said, oh, you don't have those many. You did a really good job. I don't know what you did. I said, well, I'm using a different product. So too bad guys it's not for sale anymore but i just wanted to show it to you anyway i don't know what made me want to talk about this today but um let me get around these nostrils i just want to tell you a couple of stories about white guys and why i'm not attracted to them and why i do find them attractive so i let me put on my eucerin moisturizer i use this as, as a base on my face because my face is dry and i like it on first now i get fussed at because people say you need to put that on beef after you put your other stuff on. But anyway, back to what I was saying. So I'm gonna give you a story about this one white guy. Now this is when I was younger, way younger, like in my 20s, I think, like 27, maybe 30, I don't know. When did I buy my car? I had a convertible Camaro, a black and silver Camaro with um, zebra seat covers or something. I was hot to trot. And I had some very, very freaky license plates on there. And I attracted so many men. I attracted men, women, uh, anybody of different colors. But uh, one day I was driving downtown and I saw this white boy way down yonder. He was a construction guy. He was working on something. It was him and another white guy and another black guy. And I'm sitting at the red light and I saw him from a distance. And I'm looking at this guy, I said, that's a nice looking white boy. He was nice looking from a distance he had um of course he had fair skin but he had this perfect triangular type shape he had the square shoulders and the butterfly wings well the v the v shape and he had the nice thighs and stuff you know a lot of guys white boys they have some big legs white women too but uh um, white boys be having some big thick legs and he had them thick legs on and those construction pants with no shirt i said look at that white boy right there i was like <laughs> looking at him and he saw me guys from way down yonder he saw me from way down there and and i was looking like this oh he sees me looking at him because i'm thinking he's not gonna maybe see me i'm too far away and maybe by being daytime maybe the glare on my front window would not allow him you know to see me see him shoot that white boy saw me he's like this hey and i was like I was looking around and stuff. I said, me? He said, yeah, you. Come here. I said, uh-uh. He said, uh-uh. I said, uh-uh. I'm not coming down there. I don't want to like you, white boy. Because I knew I was going to like him. I could tell I was going to like him. Who? but uh, when the light turned green, I sped off so fast and went the opposite direction. And I could see him in my rearview mirror. Come back. Come back. I'm like, no. I don't know, guys. It's something about, uh, especially when I was younger. 
it's something about me and when they come on to me i feel real awkward and weird because i'm really goofy and and i'm used to being in control and they make me feel kind of kind of weird and strange and offbeat <laughs> i'm like you don't supposed to make me feel like that now if they're flirting with me yeah that's that's making me uncomfortable but they just regularly talking to me and they ain't trying they're, and they're and they're not trying to show me that they're interested. I'm okay. I'm good with that. But once they start trying to flirt with me, I just want to say, no, you make me feel weird and awkward. Stop it. And so I'm going to get to this, um, this black guy. This black guy, again, I was younger. He was so freaking fine. I saw him and he saw me. But he saw me first because right when he saw me, I saw him. <laughs> and our eyes locked. And he was like, come here, girl. I was like, uh-uh. No, and he was literally chasing me. I was at the quick trip, getting in my car. I sped off so fast. And he was looking like, why is this dumb cow <laughs> driving up like that? I was so nervous. I said, why did you do that? You could have really got with that guy. I mean, he was good looking. So this is my, hmm, this smells good. This is my vitamin C by the body shop too. I had another um, vitamin C product but i'm not gonna double my skin up with that stuff because i don't want to be looking like i'm two years old by the morning time but anyway guys if you're interested in having a more youthful glow try the vitamin c glow boosting moisturizer from the body shop it's nice it's a more is it a moisturizer it's like a moisturizer it's hydration and activation clay clay that ain't no they don't say clay but anyway it looks like that it has a real cooling feel to it. And yeah, I've been rocking with this for a year too. I don't know if this is burning my moles off, but the body shop got some pretty decent products and they're not expensive. Like if you go to Lancome and you know, like those high end companies. But I'm thinking, why would you drive off like that? And this guy is actually interested in you. I don't know, I just feel awkward. Awkward. <laughs> awkward. I say awkward. I feel awkward when men be flirting with me. So let me tell you about this Chinese guy. Uh, and the reason why I talk about stuff in the past is because I had more of a life when it came to men back then. I was a hottie and I attracted all these nice looking men and boy. But since I got, got gotten older and I lost interest in myself, which I shouldn't be because I'm still fine, but I just need to get back into myself like I used to. And baby, when I tell you, when I walk into a room, everybody will stop and stare. That's how gorgeous I was. Now, I'm still nice looking, but no, not like I was. I need to stop talking like that. But it's the truth. That's how I feel. Can't nobody tell me how to feel. But uh, one time, me and my mother, we went down to the Casino Queen, which is um, a different name today. It's called... What's a queen called? Something. I can't even think of it. And at that time, was it on the river? Hmm, I don't know. I think at that time it was on... No, it was the Admiral. The Admiral. It was on the river. Mississippi River floating around. And me and my mother went down there for lunch. And it was a... At that time, it was a buffet. And you could just walk in there and pick out your favorite food, put it on your plate. And why did this beautiful, tall... Uh, Chinese guy come out and put the food in the buffet. This guy. Now, you, you know what? Back in the day, they used to always say Chinese people were short. No, not all of them. Not all of them are short. Not all of them are uh, flat and, you know. And he had swag. And so the way he talked and stuff, it was kind of like, it looked like he had been around black people or maybe he was brought up. Because just because someone talks like what you want to call black, um, doesn't mean they're trying to act black. Sometimes it's their environment. Sometimes they have um, uh, interracial couples, well, interracial family members. Uh, I have, I know some people, they, uh, their whole family is mixed with different races. So for whatever reason, this guy had that kind of swag. I don't know what it was, but that was a nice looking Chinese boy. He had his hair out, he had his hat cocked to, deuce to the back, and he was very, very attractive. I said, Mommy, look at him. And she said, I bet you can't tell him he ain't black. I said, mommy, <laughs> don't say that. But it was just so obvious that he had that, 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 that swag like that. So I want to try this um, product here. This is by Laneige. This is water sleeping mask. I got this for free in my um, 
little baggy one day. Hmm. Laneige is a high-end, I think. I think it's a high-end product. And this is a water sleeping mask. This keeps your face juicy. My face is so tender. Man, my face is tender from using this rose mask. It, it's got some kind of little petals in it that it exfoliates. And what is this on my lip? Every time I do a video, it's always something going on. Can't ever have a clean video with nothing in my eyeballs and stuff on my hair, in my hair and on my lips. It's always something. All right. So when you put your little stuff on, you're supposed to always, you know, bring your face upward. But yeah, guys, that 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 guy was nice looking. And then one time I was driving a bus. This is a long time ago, too. I was out at the airport. And why did this? I, I had the bus stopped at the airport. Why did this country white boy come around this side of my bus and walked across to come to my door? I forgot what happened. I think something happened. And it made him come to the bus. This white boy was tall. He had he had thick muscles. He had on a white t-shirt. The um, well, people call it the wife beater, but that's not a nice name for anything to be labeled. But he had on one of those kind of shirts. He had on some jeans and some um, cowboy boots and a belt. That white boy, and he had a white boy cowboy hat. That was a nice looking man. And when he came around, he was like, he did his hat like this to me. I said, what? I said, whoa! And he saw that I thought he was attractive. He was like, howdy, how you doing? And I say, hi, you are a star. He said, no, I'm not. <laughs> hey, guys, if you are a man that smells good to me, I'm going to look at you a certain kind of way. Doesn't mean I want to go to bed with you or anything like that. But, yeah, sometimes I'll be like, white boy, Chinese boy, uh, Mexican boy, if you smell good, you can get some of this chocolate. And then I look at him like, I'm not attracted to you. So let's talk about that part. I am not attracted to men outside my race. Um, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a skin color or what. I don't know what it is. It just seemed like, I don't know. It just, it's nothing bad. I don't think anything bad. It's just that, I don't know. Um, Maybe because I'm used to black guys, but honey, some of these black guys, they just be, they be doing too much and stuff. And I'll be like, I don't even want to date you either, shoot. So here goes my last product. This is the Laneige Lip Mask. Baby, let me tell you something. I love this lip mask. I got this free too. In one of my little baggies from the body shop. Guys, they give you a lot of free goodies, especially if you're really nice to the customer service rep. I was so nice to this one customer service rep. She gave me everything. And we ended up giving each other a hug. I'm like, what the hell happened here? We had connected so well. You know I'm friendly. So, but anyway, this is what it looks like. This lip mask is so moisturizing. It is so delicate. And every night before I go to bed, I'll do a scrub and then I'll put this on my lips. And I'll be like this. And I go like this, and before I know it, I got it all around my mouth. <laughs> and then I put another coat on her. My lips be so... Guys, if you, if you have dry lips, and you want your lips to be moisturized when you wake up in the morning, make sure you drink some water. Uh, I don't recommend doing it before you go to bed, but if you have to, do it. Because sometimes I do. It wakes me up in the middle of the night because I have to go use the bathroom. But I drink that water. Well, first I'll scrub. I use a lip scrub. And then I'll uh, put this on my lips. Right after I do my moisturizing routine, my lips be nice. So, uh, but yeah, guys, I don't, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is about me not being attracted to a person of a different race. I'm not, I'm not attracted to women. I'm not attracted to men outside my race. I'm not even attracted to, I'm not even attracted to nobody right now. No men either. I, I've just lately, I've just been a. I've just been really into myself. I'm not thinking about sex. I'm not thinking about intimacy. I'm not thinking about anything that requires a sucker touching me. Because sometimes I be wanting to just punch him. Don't touch me. Leave me alone. I don't know what that. What, I don't know how that happened. I do kind of like know what happened. Once my mom died, it's like ugh. I don't like anybody. But she been dead shoot, not nine and a half years, and I'm still on that. So now. 
And then I gained some weight. So I don't really like the way I look. And I don't like looking at nobody. I don't want nobody looking at me. I just don't feel like it. So I tell myself every year, all right, Nizzy, you got, you got to get out there and date. You have to get out there because you're going to be by yourself for the rest of your life. And I say, well, you know what? What's wrong with that? Because, you know, I'm going to tell you something. I have peace when I go to bed at night. I have peace when I wake up in the morning. I ain't got to worry with nobody. I ain't got nobody to put their stinky twinkie on my back. Talking about some, let's do it before I go to work. If you don't go sit your monkey ass down somewhere in your bed, go sit down. Don't touch me. I don't want to do nothing with you. You stink. Ugh. I know a lot of people like, <laughs> like morning sex. I hate it. Don't touch me. because <laughs> I can't even get it out. Because for one thing, I am not a morning person. And then you talking about have some sex. Who am I though? Thank you.